Each year, Stanford Medical School looks to admit exceptional scholars, researchers, and professionals. In order for you to get accepted, your entire application needs to be beyond good. It needs to be incredible. So in today's video, I'll be going over Stanford's eligibility requirements, course prerequisites, admission stats, and so much more. So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to get into Stanford Medical School. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nadine Evans, an admissions associate at BMO Academic Consulting. Make sure you subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from now so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you'd like us to help you with your medical school application, go to bmomedapplication.com. As a quick tip, check out the timestamps in the description of this video to navigate to specific sections of the video that you're interested in. Stanford welcomes applicants from all over the world. Their applicants include U.S. citizens, permanent U.S. residents with a valid visa, and international students are also welcome. However, they must have had at least one year of academic experience at a college or university in the U.S., Canada, or the U.K. before applying. Students must have a bachelor's degree at the time of matriculation, and the MCAT is required, which must be written within four years before matriculation. Recommended courses. Stanford Medicine does not have specific course prerequisites. Instead, it recommends students to prepare for the study of medicine by taking appropriate science and non-science courses. Applicants must demonstrate having knowledge and experience in the following. Biology, chemistry, physics, mathematics, laboratory or field experiments, behavioral and social sciences, communication, and fluency in a foreign language is highly recommended. Now, although Stanford Medical School does not have specific prerequisites, it's a good idea to have these courses at an absolute minimum if you're applying. Two years of chemistry with lab, including general chemistry, organic chemistry, physical chemistry, and biochemistry. One year of biology with lab, and one year of physics with lab. Now let's go straight into some important admission statistics. Last year, Stanford Medical School received over 7,000 applications. Only 480 were invited for an interview, so that's a 6.4 success rate just to get to the interview stage. 90 students were admitted, which is an overall acceptance rate of only 1.19%, so that's super competitive. Let's break down these stats further. The success rate in state is 1.4%, the success rate out of state is 1.1%, and the success rate for international applicants is 1.2%. The average accepted GPA is 3.89 and the average accepted MCAT score is 519. Now let's get into some stats of last year's matriculants so you can see what kinds of experiences successful students possess. To start with, 82% of last year's matriculants are science and math majors. 83% of matriculants had community service or volunteer experience not related to medicine. 92% of matriculants had medical related volunteer experience. 83% of matriculants had physician shadowing or clinical observation experience, 26% had medical or clinical paid employment experience, and the most important thing here is that 99% of matriculants had research and lab experience. So you can tell right away that Stanford puts high emphasis on research experience, which not all schools do. So make sure that you can demonstrate a significant commitment to research. Now, when you're trying to gain all these experiences, you should remember that quality always trumps quantity. So rather than spreading your time over a multitude of endeavors, try to focus. For example, it's wonderful if you volunteer at the ER for a couple of hours each week. But if you only did this for one month, it's likely not a good experience to include in your application. You want to ensure that your experiences demonstrate dedication and a serious time commitment. So when you discuss in your application the significance of an activity, you really have enough time invested in an activity to reflect on it with maturity and discuss what you learned from your participation. In addition to your grades, test scores, and extracurriculars, your personal statement and secondary essays have to be phenomenal in order to get accepted into Stanford Medical School. Your statement must include personal examples that demonstrate the steps you have taken to explore the medical field, you need to be able to discuss how these experiences have affected your decision to apply, and you need to discuss how you see yourself as a potential physician training at Stanford in particular. In terms of letters of recommendation, Stanford accepts all three recommendation letter options. So that's the committee letter, letter packet, and individual letter. Stanford requests a minimum of three individual letters of recommendation, with six being the maximum number of letters accepted. All recommendation letters must be written on official letterhead and signed by the author or committee. Lastly, I want to discuss Stanford's tuition and debt. So tuition and fees for in-state and out-of-state students is around 61,000. 
The estimated total cost of attendance is around 100,000 a year. There are 81% of students that receive financial aid at Stanford Medical School. Now, the national average graduating debt at public medical schools is over 175,000, and at private medical schools, it's even higher at over 180,000. Stanford, on the other hand, prides itself on the fact that the average graduating debt of its students is only 97,000, which is well below the national average. So this will wrap up another one of our videos. So please subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you have any questions that I didn't cover in today's video. Are you applying to Stanford this season? Is it your first time applying? Let me know in the comments section. Lastly, if you'd like us to help you with your medical school application, go to bemomedapplication.com. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.